Well, what we're doing today is we're collecting a lot of different objects that are on the surface of the excavation. Right now, what it was. Mm -hmm. You can see the rust like that, and that's a pretty good indication of it. Um, they divide it up, as you can see, into squares. Each student goes into a square and picks up any objects that he might see, glass or metal or pottery. We put it in a brown paper bag and they collect all the paper bags and they have like a grid and everything's like mapped out on this grid, how much is found where and how dense it is. And that kind of shows them where things, you know, might have once been. I haven't had a chance to do any of the background research that um, I typically would do before I come out onto a site, um, but I would guess at this point that we've got some kind of a main house or structure uh, just over my shoulder here, uh, and then some ancillary buildings that wouldn't be uncommon in uh, any kind of a plantation or even a small-scale farmstead. I think that's what it is. <laughs> well, today I found a lot of iron in this square. It appears that this area was where they made, you know, iron tools and things like that. And over there I found things like um, ceramics and iron pieces and stuff like that. I found these two nails, but they looked like they could be modern. And this is rock um, that's very, really old, and um, the pottery seems to be more um, up to date with what we're looking at. All of the artifacts that the students help us collect out here are going to be taken back to one of our labs and uh, processed, cleaned, and then analyzed and cataloged. Um, at that point, we'll generate data tables that'll get sent back to me um, so I can produce my, my compliance report. At the end, are going to be put into storage containers and brought back to North Carolina where they'll be stored at the um, repository in Raleigh. It's been really interesting. I found a lot of interesting stuff and it's pretty neat to imagine what it was like a couple hundred years ago. Oh, it's great for uh, students to come out and uh, enjoy the site uh, or get to see archaeology. Uh, one of my first experiences with archaeology was as a student, um, actually in elementary school, so uh, I think it's great for them to get to come out. It's been really fun and interesting because I never knew what an archaeologist did. It's, it's a really awesome experience just getting to help the professionals uncover evidence of this area's past and the ancient peoples that used to live here.